from the Reed Insurance Agency. Hey. Uh, it was her topic, and the name of our topic today is Tapping Into Your Purpose. So with that said, we're going to get right into the show because we're running a little late. All right. So I want to first start by telling everyone good morning. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I want to thank Eric and Israel for the invite to come on and uh discuss this topic. I have been following the conversations with car salesmen. It's very interesting. So just thought that uh, it would be a good idea to come on and actually talk about um, tapping into your inner purpose. So um, today that's what we will be talking about. Um, I guess I first start by saying that you know we all are born uh, with a purpose and it would definitely be tragic if we actually die and not really know what that purpose is. Um, so what we'll be discussing today is how you can identify your purpose and actually being able to tap into whatever that purpose is. Um, so I guess what we'll start, you know, it's a conversation, so we're going to, you know, participate in the conversation. What I would start off by saying that um, if you are someone who's just really just going through the motions, whether it's with your job, your family or whatever, and you really just feel like, you know, there has to be something more, um, then you're actually struggling with identifying yourself and then actually identifying what your purpose is. And one thing that I would suggest is that you actually take some time, uh, a long time uh, with yourself and just really kind of just think, you know, what is it that I like? What is it that brings me joy? What is it that I'm actually good at? Because we all are born with a talent. And uh, once you identify that talent, you can actually plug into who you are as a person and plug into that talent and be successful with whatever it is and walk in your destiny and in your purpose. So I'll start out by saying that. And if you guys want to add into what I just said. Um, good morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome Miss Reed to the show with the Reed Agency. Uh, I love the topic because I believe that we all have a purpose in life. Right. Uh, for me personally, uh, it's simple. Being born uh, a male, yeah. uh, I, I believe that we have two purposes. Okay. It's to be the best husband right. that we can be and to be the best father. Right. And I think everything else in life is not to say irrelevant because you're going to find stuff that you're passionate about uh, but I think those are the most two and those two are the most important like if if I realized that my my I was created to be the best husband to be the best father and find that wife and you have children and that should be your goal every day it's not about how much life isn't about how much money you make Money doesn't make you happy when you have that significant other, That's true. when you have those kids that push you, that motivate you to get up every day and provide for them and protect them and, you know, uh, educate them on stuff that maybe you learned throughout life. Uh, I think that's what you should really concentrate on, focus on. Uh, 
So I think, you know, you're going to find something that you're good at. You know, if you play basketball, if you've been playing basketball since you were six years old, you're going to be good at it. Right. And it's the same as, you right. know, uh, uh, music or whatever, whatever your passion is in life. But your purpose, what is the definition of purpose? Purpose, to me, the definition of purpose would be what you're meant to, to do. You know, um, sometimes we can get distracted on what our purpose is. But if I was to define it, I would say purpose would be... What's the purpose of an umbrella? To protect you from protect the rain. you from the rain. The purpose right. of an umbrella is to protect you from. What's the purpose of a vehicle? To transport you from point A to point B. The purpose of a man. Yeah. It's certain stuff that we do that women can't do. It's certain stuff that. I don't know the that, purpose of a man, but I know the purpose but of a it's, woman. But it's, <laughs> it's certain stuff that women. There's certain stuff that women do that we can't do. Correct. And when we connect the two. Yeah. Right. So that's my. I think. I think that's my idea of. Of, and that's a strong spiritual, me having a strong spiritual sense of who I am right. and what my purpose is. Yeah. And I think when people realize their purpose, they really are able to live their life to um, the max and to that's their right. potential. You know, um, and they can touch lives, whether it's their kids, their mates, individuals they come across on a daily basis. When you actually in tune with, you know, your purpose, you're able to operate in your capacity that you were actually born to do. What you, what you guys think? I mean, I agree. I think that um, as far as a career, you know, a lot of people go to work, and they work jobs, and they seem like they're unhappy. Right. But really the only reason you're probably unhappy and you're working a job is because you're not working inside of your purpose mm -hmm. when you start to find when you find what your purpose is Absolutely. and start to work inside of that then it doesn't even seem like it's a job right anymore because it's, you it's work fulfilling. For free. yeah right it's like you're working for you yeah. know you may be getting paid right. right and but the thing is we gotta we gotta go back to is when we got and, and this is for everybody that's watching and listening how do you find your purpose Right. See, that's a, the, the most significant part of this conversation is we're how talking about find? tapping into it, but we, you know, how do you find it? And how do you know that, okay, yeah, this is my purpose? Right. I think how do you find your purpose is somewhere when you were a child, okay. some, a light, you did something. Right. You either dribbled a basketball, right. you, you wrote a poem. Right. A science project. A yeah. science project. Something. Yeah. A spark. A spark. You, yeah. You're good with communicating with others. Right. And a light came on the lights. And right. You probably didn't know it then. Right. You didn't know. For me, it was sales. Yeah. Uh, I sold, I started selling candy when I was 12 years old. Right. And mm -hmm. I fell in love. I didn't know. I started selling candy just out of desperation because we didn't have nothing and we got paid for selling candy and I, bec I I got good at it I think a person's purpose starts as a child yeah. what do you because you know I, I think we look at children and we well you're definitely right the influences are already on your life as a child I mean you right. came into the world with those exactly. influences on right. your life right. to be whatever you're going to be but it's, it's like our jobs as parents as leaders and teachers mm -hmm. is to guide the children into their purpose. Correct. Right, right. You see right. what I'm saying? So you righty, you already had that influence or that calling on your life as a child because like you said, you sold candy. Now you're selling cars, you sold some other things. So and I'm excited. Just yeah. get fulfilled. Right, yeah. exactly. I worked in construction when I first came home and I, I wasn't excited to go to work. I, yeah. I was excited for being yeah. home and being yeah. free. But just working uh, at Adamson West, I get excited every morning. That's good. That and so that lets me know line. I'm doing something that, right, right, right. You're right. in line with where your purpose is. You know, like with the construction, if you get in your car and you head to work and you get in the parking lot and you don't want to be there, okay. then they're done it. That's not really where yeah, you, you should job. actually be. And exactly, exactly. I, I agree customer. with both of y'all, um, Eric um, All right. and Lakeisha. Okay. I think like, I, like, a lot of times with purpose, you do kind of know your purpose with why you're growing I'll up. Be back yeah. Some people don't know. Mm -hmm. But I do think a lot of times you, you might know your purpose, but once you become an adult, you get caught into like the, the real life situation of yeah. taking care of responsibilities. Right. So sometimes right. you have to push your purpose to the side to get a job that you don't 
kind of um, align with yeah. to, to take care of your responsibilities. Yeah. But um, a lot and of times, goes, like you said, you wake up because you go, no one coming before you really knew how to direct you and guide you to your purpose. purpose uh -huh. I mean, you got to think, even in high school, your counselors, they go by the statistics of saying that these are going to be the best paying jobs. Yeah. Right. So we, as people that's not really understanding what's going on, we tend to go into these particular careers and fields uh -huh. based upon money. money uh -huh. But right. to, be, to, to experience true prosperity, you have to go into, like with our, our subject, Right. You have to go into the field that's related to your purpose. Correct. And what I will, would say that um, I do know that a lot of people kind of sometimes feel stuck because they're really not where they want to be mm -hmm. or where they know they can actually flourish. But because of life, you know, it happens to everybody. Uh -huh. They kind of succumb to, okay, you know, I know this is where I'm supposed to be, but this is where I am right now. So I'm just going to get complacent. I'm just going to sit here and ride this out. Even though I know, okay, this is not really where I'm supposed to be. Exactly. I would suggest this, that don't just push your purpose to the side. Water it as little as you can, and, and slowly it will actually grow. Because I think as a society, we get so complacent with our situations, and sometimes we fall into making a lot of excuses as to why we're not where we would like to be and where we should be because of those obstacles that we have and we just sit there uh -huh. and then you know at the end of our life we're like oh i wish i had a you know done this i wish i had a done that exactly. i should have did that so don't just say hey you know life's over or i can't do that just you know set aside 10 minutes a day whatever it is that drives you motivates you it doesn't necessarily have to be you know you know you devoting your whole schedule if you got to work this job for eight hours to pay and then when you get home feed the kids put them in the bed if you got 10 minutes to kind of water or whatever you whatever your purpose is water it don't just leave it there sitting domat and don't do anything with it yeah because your life is going to you're going to continue to feel unfulfilled. unfulfilled yeah yeah and if anybody's looking to find their purpose you can inbox me and contact me i do uh consulted and different readers on helping people find their purpose but yeah. also the main thing is this you got to tap within get with a spiritual guide a spiritual teacher or get with someone who can kind of direct you in this area and find out what your purpose is and then you really can experience true prosperity because like I said, some people make a lot of money, but they don't have it. They're drunk, mm -hmm. they're alcoholics, mm -hmm. or they, uh, you know, they have a certain addiction. But they make all this money, you know, commit suicide. So finding your purpose, yeah, one of the key parts of it is, yeah, for financial, you know, fulfillment. But the main thing is doing something that you like. So when you're at work, it doesn't feel like you're at work because you're having fun. I mean, you're happy, and this is your purpose. So I'm gonna say that. Uh, anything else? I, I would just say, just don't get caught up in uh, what general society say that you yeah, need to be doing. Yeah, because they're gonna tell you anything. I think a lot of times, mm -hmm. you, you, a lot of people know know what they want to do right. and know what make what would make them happy. Right. But they get caught up with what the outside people right. are telling them. Influence. You don't need to do that. That's what I'm right. saying. You need your to high go school counselor. Yeah, 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 exactly. High school yeah. counselor. They told you say everybody. You be an artist. Right. They say, um, no, art, you don't make no money with art. Yeah, we're not in the market right. for, to be an artist or whatever. Right. So I just say just go with what you feel and just do it. That's good. That's good. I agree with my colleagues and Ms. Reed. Yes. Uh, tap into your purpose. Thank you for tuning in today on Conversation with Car Salesmen. Thanks to Lakeisha uh, Reed, the Let's Reed Agency. Um, let them know where they can find it. Yeah, I am an insurance agent. Um, been an agent for seven years. I'm a broker, so I go through multiple insurance companies. If you are in the market for any type of insurance, auto, home, life, business, we got you covered. Um, give me a call at 205-854-2156, or you can drop into the office at 9624 Parkway East, Birmingham. Thank, you, Thank guys. you, guys. And uh, this is a 2011 Denali that we're in. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna show the Denali. We let you get some. Turn the car. We left, it's a 2011 Denali. Uh, it only has 50,000 miles on. We have two of them to choose from. Uh, we have the XLT, we have the uh, Challenger. 2000, I think it's a 16 Challenger. 17 Dodge Challenger. 
That baby clean right there. So just please, yeah, she, she got the key. And he needs to see the insurance lady. Come on out, we at 506 Bessemer Super Highway, Adamson West. Please come out from 9 p.m. to 7, Monday through Friday, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday.